Holcomb of Huff, cotton white hair with a streak of black. He said it would wear a Yankee soldier hit him on his head, but he kept fighting. Skin don't get that wrinkled in the first hundred years. Takes time rolling over you like some high Galveston tide. It leaves canyons in your face, earlobes to your shoulders, and husky in your voice like you gargled with old crow. Everybody knew old Holcomb lied. The tales he'd tell. Yarns, nice folks called him. Huff church folks, I mean. But that was old Holcomb. He told tall ones to anyone who'd listen. Which weren't many now that Huff was fading. Farmers, that was the town of Huff. Small, safe, mainly friends. A little place outside Wichita Fall. Huff quit listening. So Holcomb would grab anyone, tell of battles in detail, Chickamauga, Shiloh, leading charges at Chancellorville, his captains and colonels jumping to his orders. General Holcomb. He died sitting outside the blacksmith shop, still waiting to tell somebody another story. Left nobody, no first name, no money, no more tall tales. Huff buried him, but there were no stone. So some fellows came out from Austin that next summer. They put up a fancy headstone, took some pictures of the Holcomb grave. Brigadier General Vaughn Westbrook Holcomb, Confederate States of America, born July 7, 1836, died June 11, 1946. Hero of Chancellorville and Chickamauga.